Dodge tonight in medical rounds. Thousands will be in Cromwell this week for the Travelers Championship. And with the first round set to begin tomorrow, players are gearing up and working on their game. Now, part of that is making sure they stay injury free. Joining us live is Wendy Nichols. She is a physical therapist who oversees the Center for Musculoskeletal Health at the Bone and Joint Institute at Hartford Hospital. Wendy, thanks for being here. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so first off, let's talk about some of the types of injuries that golfers can experience and how they can avoid them. The most common injuries that we see with golfers are low back pain, mid back pain, rotator cuff strains or shoulder pain, as well as elbow pain or more commonly known as golfer's elbow. The real way to avoid any injuries for any golfing activity is really to have a good proper stretching program. And there are certain stretches that golfers can do to help them avoid injury. And that makes sense. Good for all athletes. And this is pretty cool. The Bone and Joint Institute at Hartford Hospital is actually one of uh, I'm trying to look here, is the region's first and only orthopedic hospital with a dedicated center for musculoskeletal health. And what makes this center just so different and unique? What makes the center so different is that we have a state-of-the-art motion lab where we have cameras that help us capture 3D motion so we can really see how the body is moving. Once we can see how the body is moving, we're able to make little adjustments that otherwise wouldn't be visible. This this improves um, an athlete's overall performance in any sporting, but especially golf, because we can actually see how they swing um, movement by movement. That makes a lot of sense. And the Center for Musculoskeletal Health also includes an assessment center for athletes. How does this actually help them enhance their overall performance? All athletes that come through our center have they go through an assessment. This looks at the overall health and wellness of the athlete, which includes things like their flexibility, their strength, their movement, diet, nutrition, as well as their psychological state. By improving all these different aspects, we're able to improve an athlete's overall performance. All right, Wendy, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much for being here.